Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we will compare the Tonix pedal versus the Quad Cortex and the Camper, trying to answer a very specific question. Which one feels better under our fingers? In order to answer in the most scientific way possible, we will compare the latency, the frequency range management, the dynamic range management, the note envelope, etc. Let's start! Let's start with the latency comparison for the three units, starting with the quad cortex. And if you want to better know what is latency and how it affects our playing, please check out the video in the card above. We have an empty chain, I mean no effect blocks inserted, that takes around 2 milliseconds. Therefore, we can deduce that the ADA conversion takes 2 milliseconds. Then, if we add an amp block and we keep it not activated, we have 2.3 milliseconds of latency. If we test the cap block still not activated, removing the amp block, we have 2.6 milliseconds. With both the amp and the cab not activated, we have around 2.9 milliseconds. If we activate the amp and the cab block, we have 3 milliseconds of latency. If we add a wawa, we add less than a millisecond of latency. Adding a wah and a booster, we reach 3.2 milliseconds. With also a tube screamer, we reach 3.4. Then, with just the tube screamer, the amp and the cab, and a reverb, we have 3.4 milliseconds. Exchanging the reverb with the delay, we have still 3.4 milliseconds. But if we add both the delay and the reverb, thus having a signal chain with a tube screamer, an amp, a cab, a delay and a reverb, we reach 4.8 milliseconds. With everything on, so wah, booster, tube screamer, amp, cab, delay and reverb, we reach around 5 milliseconds. Another interesting measure is that with just the profile block we have 2.3 milliseconds instead of the 3 milliseconds aforementioned. Therefore, the profile seems to be a little bit more efficient. If we add the aforementioned effect to the profile we reach 5.3 milliseconds instead of the around 5 using the amp and the cab. This basically tells us that when you add a block to the chain it drains processing power adding latency even if it is switched off. And I notice this behavior basically almost only with the quad cortex. Furthermore delays and reverbs especially when together require a lot of processing power. And finally, if you use a profile, you may improve the overall latency. As regards the camper, we have an empty chain that takes a little bit less than 3.1 milliseconds. Therefore, we can deduce that the ADA conversion takes around 3.1 milliseconds. With an amp and the cab, we have a little bit more than 3.1 milliseconds of latency. Adding a wawa, basically the latency does not change. And if we add the tube screamer, maintaining the wawa activated, the latency reaches 3.2 milliseconds. Let's now talk about the time effects, like a reverb and delay. Well, with an amp and a cap and a delay or a reverb or both together, basically the latency stays at around 3.1 millisecond. And if we deactivate all the effect blocks, the latency does not change. And this is different uh, from the quad cortex, where we have verified that even a not active block adds latency. Therefore, I would say that the camper is pretty well optimized and the latency stays at around 3.1, 3.2 milliseconds. There are still some strange behaviors in terms of camper latency that you can check out in the video in the card above. Finally, as regards the Tonix pedal, the latency stays at around 3 milliseconds, whether you have uh, the reverb activated or not, or whether you have the compressor activated 
or not. Let's now check out the three units together with just an amp and the cab block so that we can compare them directly and easily. As you may notice, the latency is very similar, around 3 milliseconds. If we add an overdrive, an amp, a cab, a delay and a reverb, the quad cortex is around 4.8 milliseconds and 4.1, around 4.1 using a profile. The camper stays at around 3.2 milliseconds, where you need to pair the tonics with another unit to have delays and reverb. If you add a Boss GT1000 core, you are around 3.5 milliseconds. With an HX Stomp, you are around 6 milliseconds. And with an MG30, you are around 5.8 milliseconds. Please check out the video in the card above for more info about which one is the best companion of the tonics. We'll now check out how the three units compare to a tube amp in terms of general frequency response, bass frequency, dynamic range management and note envelope. Let's do it.
Final consideration CR. The first and obvious difference is that the quad cortex and the camper are all in one units, where the tonics has to be paired with some other effects, like delays or drive pedals. This could be considered a pro or a cons, depending from your needs. For instance, it is a pro if you want to build your own ampless pedal board with your own specific effect pedals in order to reach your own signature tone. I mean, you can combine your own specific pedals with the tonics in order to get a tone and a combination of effects that you are the only one to have. On the other hand, the quad cortex or the camper could be better if you are in a cover band or you need to play many different styles. For my use case, I would use the Tonix in order to play my own original music and the Quad Cortex or the Camper to play in a cover band. In terms of profiling procedure, I prefer the Tonix plugin, then the Quad Cortex, then the Camper. I put the Camper in last position simply because I'm not able to get consistent results. I mean, you can obtain pretty different results according to the refining procedure you are gonna do. You may say, Leo, that's because you don't know how to do the refining procedure. Okay, but do I need a degree in AMP profilology? Do I have to make some online courses to learn the best refining procedure? Isn't just reading the user manual enough? Well. With the Sonix or the Quad Cortex, I don't need to take a degree in AMP profilology and I can obtain pretty consistent results profile after profile and the results are very good. Furthermore, in my opinion, the Tonix is a little bit better compared to the Quad Cortex and that's even because with the Tonix I use my own pre-amplifier and my own converters that alone are priced higher and are of a better quality compared to the Quad Cortex. That being a only one unit 
with the pre-amplifier, converters, etc. included cannot rival with the quality of standalone and professional units, like my API preamplifiers or my Apollo audio interface, in my opinion. On the other hand, if you don't need to profile an amp, the Camper is a better platform, as it is open and you can buy amazing profiles, which are vastly available on the web. The Quad Cortex is a more closed platform. It allows you to buy profiles, but with a pretty complex procedure that does not invite professional users to make their profiles. The Tonix is very promising, but it does not have yet the number of profiles available for the Camper, which is a more mature platform. In terms of price, the Tonix pedal is the cheaper one, but obviously you have to take into consideration the price of an effect unit to pair with the Tonix. If you build your own pedal board with a switcher like the Boss ES8, some gain pedals, a chorus a delay and a reverb, you can end up reaching the price of the Camper or of the Quad Cortex. Obviously, you may already have many effects and therefore the Tonix could definitely be a cheaper option. And now let's talk about my impression, my personal impressions about the tone. First of all, in a mix, it's pretty hard to tell which is which. And if you start playing with your band, you are gonna forget pretty soon if you are using the IK, the Quad Cortex or the Camper. They all perform very well in terms of response to your touch. I mean, they cleans up and breaks up really well compared to the real amp counterpart and the note envelope is very well respected. There are differences, but I think that they are pretty negligible. The differences, in my opinion, are more clear in terms of frequency range representation and in terms of level of gain. I mean, the tonics and the real deal are almost indistinguishable where Quad Cortex is still very close, but there are some tiny differences in terms of frequency range representation and in the gain level. In my opinion, the Camper, on the other hand, is the more different to the real deal. It still sounds very, very good, but the gain level and the frequency range are different, are more different compared to the ones of the Tonix or the Quad Cortex. And actually, as I said previously, the profiling results you can obtain with the Camper are really dependent to how you do the refining procedure. So at the end, all the three units are very good. And if I had to really summarize which one I would choose in my use cases, I would say Tonix, if I want to build my own ampless pedal board to play my own music, Camper or Quad Cortex if I had to play in a cover band or I need to play many different styles. But now it's your turn. Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. I can't wait to share all our opinions in the comment section. We have now reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.